everybody. It is Monday, December 26th, 2022, and this is another edition of Cafe Devo. Coming to you almost live, courtesy of First Congregational Church, here at the point of Saginaw and Washington Streets in beautiful downtown Durand, Michigan. I'm Pastor Steve Wood, hanging out with my pal Bugsy, and I hope your Monday is going well, and I hope that your week is kind of slowed down a little bit as we have that wonderful time between the celebration of Christmas and the end of the year. Can you believe it? 2022 is winding down, and 23 is just days away. Once again today, we turn our thoughts to our devotional reading from the book Truth for Life. It was written by Pastor Alistair Begg and is copyright 2021, The Good Book Company. When Christ came into the world, he said, Sacrifices and offerings you have not desired, but a body have you prepared for me. In burnt offerings and sin offerings, you have taken no pleasure. Hebrews 10, 5, and 6. The Gospels of Matthew and Luke introduce us to a whole cast of Christmas characters with whom we've grown familiar over the years. Joseph, Mary, the shepherds, the wise men, and so on. Sometimes we even consider those who are less known, like Zechariah and Elizabeth, Anna and Simeon. With each passing Christmas season, we've probably been treated to sermons and studies from the perspective of just about every cast member of the Christmas story. Yet there is one notable exception. Surprisingly few of us have pondered Christmas from Jesus' vantage point. In this verse, the author of the letter to the Hebrews tells us that when Jesus stepped onto the stage of history, he took the words of Psalm 40 upon his lips. Just as Cinderella's glass slipper fit only her foot, these words from Psalm 40 fit nobody but Jesus. God was preparing for the first Christmas through the centuries of the Old Testament, for all the Old Testament sacrifices were shadows of the reality to which they pointed. Those sacrifices involved the death of animals that had to be prodded to the altar. Innocent animals. They had no choice in the matter. They were simply pressed into service. But before he even experienced humanity, Jesus knew his role. His sacrifice would be different. He willingly consented in the humblest of forms and in an unexpected setting. God the Son took on a body that was prepared for him, prepared as a ransom for many, according to Matthew 20, 28. He looked at this broken world and its sinful people, and he said to his father, yes, I will go there. I will become one of them, and I will die for them. Peter grasped the weight of Christ's death when he wrote, He himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed. 1 Peter 2, 24. Jesus, being fully God and fully man, entered the world to do in his body what no animal sacrifice could do. He has borne our punishment, cleansed our consciences and held out divine mercy. He perfectly accomplished all that is necessary for sinful men and women to enter into fellowship with God. This is very different from the promise of other religions in which rules and effort become futile mechanisms for trying to climb into heaven. In contrast, the manger's message is one of liberating mercy. God has wonderfully taken the initiative and come to rescue us through Jesus. We don't need to make a long journey to find him. Because Christ, the newborn king, knew his role. What is the right response? (laughs) Simply to bow down before him humbly, praise him wholeheartedly, and wait for him expectantly all of our days. For more on this, read the book of Psalms, chapter 40. Father, we are grateful for the day you've given us for this Monday. We thank you and ask that you bless it and redeem it for your purpose. And use us, Lord. Use us as agents of love and compassion and joy. Bless us with this, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 
Hey, that's going to do it for us on this Monday edition of Cafe Devo. I'm Pastor Steve Wood signing off and counting down to the end of the year. <laughs> God bless you, my friends.